sport scientists monitor performance using a variety of equipment and software. Oftentimes, sport scientists use a combination of different types of data to determine training loads, monitor fatigue, or assess performance changes. However, coaches who want to assess performance or fatigue of their athletes may not need overly expensive or bulky equipment such as force plates. Advances in technology have allowed coaches to measure performance easily using things such as smartphone applications, heart rate monitors, GPS, etc. This makes performance tracking more convenient and cheaper. However, with so many brands and types of equipment out there to choose from, it begs the question, how do I choose the appropriate tool for my coaching needs? Coaches should consider the validity and reliability, weigh the pros and cons, and consider the intended purpose for the devices. Recently, I published a paper with my colleagues from the National Youth Sports Institute and Singapore Sport Institute. I looked at the validity of different types of portable gym devices commercially available to measure the counter-movement jump, a common test used to assess lower limb power. Investigated three measuring tools, the push band, the gym aware, and the my jump, and how they fared against the force plate, which is the gold standard measure. The gymware uses a cable which tracks movements of an exercise, such as a squat, a bench press, or vertical jump. It can be used to measure jump height and other performance measures such as power or velocity. All you need is a vest or a harness, the gymware, and a mobile device with the application. Linear positional transducers such as the gymware track the movement of the barbell or the person. Some of the common uses of these devices is to include measuring velocity and power of these resistance exercises. The push uses an accelerometer used to assess each repetition of an exercise in the gym. The push may be used to measure velocity and power of each repetition in the resistance exercises and measure jumps. All you need is the push or an accelerometer, a body strap or sleeve to attach the device to the person or the bar, and the application on a mobile device. Accelerometers work by determining the velocity and acceleration in different planes of movement the device travels in. The last tool that we looked at was a mobile phone application called the MyJump. The app basically videos the jump and uses a formula to calculate jump height. The formula considers things such as body mass, leg length, and flight time to calculate the jump height, power, and velocity. All you need is a camera phone and a measuring tape. The user measures the extended leg length and half squat depth following the in-app instruction. And the jump is basically video from 1.5 meters away at the ground level. The study was interested in the jump height, mean power, and velocity of the counter movement jump. What we found was that the My Jump phone application was actually highly valid and reliable in measuring all three measures among all the devices that we were investigating. So the main takeaway for this study for coaches and practitioners is that before you purchase portable gym devices for performance measures, consider the validity and the design use of the device you're interested in. For example, are you interested in measuring jump height? or the velocity of sprints. Also consider if the device is portable enough for your use. Taking all this into consideration, you should be able to get the most bang for your buck. You might jump and push are both affordable and convenient for use in athlete monitoring. An example will be measuring the counter movement jump using these tools, assess day-to-day -day or week-to-week -week changes. And this can be a way to monitor at the athlete's fatigue or adaptation to train. These quick measures of counter movement jumps can be done easily when the athlete reports for training. So technology has given us the ability to conduct fitness tests and athlete monitoring and measure recovery. This allows coaches to take sports science into their own hands quite literally when they have little or no access to expensive or bulky equipment.